Hey guys, it's Pete here again. I don't know if you've ever had the same uh, issues what I have with the uh, PT31 torch or the LG40 that you buy these cheap consumables and sometimes they just don't fit properly in the old uh, torch. Anyway, I've got a quick hack for that, so have a look, see what you think. Hi guys, so you just received your uh, nice new consumables and you got them here and you're all ready to go. So you go and um, put them in the old um, plasma torch, your PT31 or LG40 torch. So you stick them in there like so. All ready to do your job. Screw it up like so. And hello. They don't fit properly. Why is that loose like that? I mean, uh, I couldn't figure it out the first couple of times either. Um, and I come to the conclusion that it's just because of the way they're made, there are slight differences in the, uh, in the thickness of these things. So uh, I've come up with a quick hack to, uh, to fix that. But um, what happens if you don't stop it from shaking around in the torch? What happens, and what I've done several times, I don't know if you can see that or not. Wait for the camera to focus. If you can see in here, it's starting to burn out the, the holder. And if you use them like that, it'll get worse and worse and worse. And then it'll actually start pulsating in there while you're cutting and then it'll arc all this out here and then you're going to have to buy a new torch. Uh, we don't want to be doing that and um, don't get me wrong, I love these little torches and love the consumables but sometimes you just got to do a quick fix and uh, and um, yeah, and just help yourself out of it really because um, the last thing you want to be doing is replacing your torch every five minutes and it's just a simple thing there because it's too loose in, in the, um, in the uh, holder. Anyway, so we'll put this back in like so Put the cap in like so. And this is just a standard torch, of course. They're all the same. But like I say, look, that just shakes around in there. And when you go to cut something, it's just no good. So, we've got two fixes for this. First one is quite simple, really. Get yourself one copper washer. Like so. Like so. Put the copper washer over the top of the electrode, so it sits like uh, so. It sits like so, and then it's got to be the right size washer, of course. I'll put the sizes down below, and you can have a look. And then screw it up like so, and then it's as solid as a rock. Doesn't vibrate anymore. But I don't like doing that because sometimes if you have a look there, it goes off center. See that goes off center? So the other way I do it is like this. Take that off there, like so. Take your off and take the electrode out like so. Right, now what we do now is we grab another washer, but a different size washer. Just let me grab one. This little washer here, I don't know if you can see that little baby washer, I'll put the size once again down below, but I like using this method, and I'll tell you why. So what we do there, is we get our electrode, and we slide that washer over your electrode like so. See them on there like so, and it goes over, it actually goes over the lip, like so. Then we get our torch, and we load it in like so, so what it's actually doing now is sitting in here properly and then we just reassemble it the same way as normal now if you notice that self-centered itself and it's as solid as a rock now why I like doing it that way is because it self-centers itself and your electrode basically has to be in the middle of your cutting tip for it to work and also your electrode has to be a certain distance on the inside of course of, to your cutting tip so if you put that washer that's in there now if you put that washer this washer on the outside 
for argument's sake, if you put that washer on the outside of your electrode like so, see it there? So you put it there, but you put it on the outside, and then you put your swirl ring on top of that, what you've actually done is you've altered the distance that your cutting tip is now from the inside of your electrode. So that is actually sitting higher now on the inside and you put this on and it does, looks as if it does exactly the same thing and it centers up but you will find this will not cut now for the simple reason that your electrode has been altered in here altered the distance in here so the best thing to do is like I did the first time put it on the bottom and it doesn't alter the distance of this so all you've done, if you put it on the top, you've pushed the distance of this out, which is not what you want to do. So we take it off like that, turn it over so it goes on the bottom, like so, like so, reassemble it as normal. Send it up itself. Solid as a rock, doesn't rock around in there anymore, and it doesn't bugger your gun. So that's that's um, that's all that is really quite simple. But just um, I had a fish around for, for for days in my workshop trying to find the right size washers, and I just found it was just easier to go and buy a packet of fifty washers of the right size. Like I say, I'll put the size down below um, for five bucks or something, fifty washers, and you can use the washers over and over again. It just um, yeah, because sometimes when you get the consumables, they just slightly out, and it'll just bugger your gun if you use them like that. But, I mean, it's an, it's an easy fix. No worries at all. Okay, guys, thanks for watching, and um, I hope you enjoyed it. And subscribe up the top there if you like my videos. Put a um, comment down below if you've got some helpful tips that I can share with anyone. And uh, I'd love for you to see you next time. Thank you. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Uh, yeah, now you know how to fix that little problem. Um, yeah, it shouldn't give you too many more issues. If you like my videos, just uh, hit the subscribe button there or wake me a comment down below. And, um, yeah, like I said, those little washers are pretty hard to find, so I'll chuck a couple of links in the bottom, and if I can find some the right size, and uh, you guys can get them there. Thanks, guys.